Hey y'all, um, I'm I'm getting a getting a lot of these tier lists done, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry. Okay, so this is something that probably most of you wouldn't understand. Um, which, yeah. Um, so I'm doing a Skylander Spiros Adventure tier list. I'm gonna make this real short though. Or will I? So I own every single one of these characters. Um, my entire Skylanders collection if I were to resell it, would probably cost close to $500, which is pretty cool. So uh, anyway, let's get started. So first off, we have Bash. Um, Bash is a little dinosaur dude. He got a wrecking ball on his tail. He, uh, he hits stuff. Um, he's an Earth Skylander. He's fine. <laughs> he's fine. Okay, we got Boomer. I got Boomer recently. Um, he just throws dynamite and hits the ground with his fists. Um, he's not bad. He's definitely not bad or duh. So I'm going to put him in more or less. He's fine. Camo is definitely not bad. I would say Camo is good. So Camo is a life Skylander and breathes fire. Um, but you can spam it and it does a lot of damage. So Camo's not that bad. You know? Okay, next we got Chop Chop. Now, you can't diss Chop Chop. Chop Chop, okay. His name is Chop Chop. It's a kid's game. Um, so yeah, he just swings his sword. He can protect himself with his shield. And he can have, like, these vines come out of the ground and, like, poke people. Does pretty good damage. He's all around just a really good Skylander. He's pretty fast. He's got decent health. You know? I'm surprised he didn't get put in the starter pack. Uh, Cinder. Um, I thought Cinder was terrible for a while, and uh, I recently went back and played through Skylanders Imaginators, the most recent game, uh, using only Spire's Adventure characters, and Cinder is not bad at all. Um, pretty fast, really good damage. Um, she has a, an attack where she can like go into the shadows and like spawn a bunch of ghosts that attack people. Pretty neat. Next we got Dino Ring. Uh, so, Dino Ring is one of my favorites, but I'm really doing this based off of, like, how powerful they are. Like, are they actually good? Is Dino Ring actually good? Not really. <laughs> um, he is one of my favorites, though, because he's a dinosaur. Um, but yeah, he throws boomerangs, but he only has two, and you have to wait for them to come back for him to throw it again. Um, he can spawn these, like, I think he can spawn, like, fists out of the ground that punch people um hang on there's an ant on my desk god i hate ants okay apologies um kids don't eat in your room oh he left like water uh, uh oh oh dude that is so gross um okay uh, movie <laughs> Oh man, that is so gross. I'm moving on. <laughs> oh, dude, uh, it's like brown. It look, uh, dude. Oh my god, I used my Google Home to kill it. I'm so sorry, bruh. Okay, double trouble sucks. Um, he just shoots beams of electricity out of his staff. That is 100% ruined my night. I thought I was done seeing ants. Let this be a reminder to not eat in your room. Please don't eat in your room. Ever. Because, you know, you bring one Pop-Tart, but you also bring this entire, like, family of ants. Because uh, you dropped one crumb on the floor. Drill Sergeant sucks, okay? He's kind of like Dino Rang. Um, so he shoots drills, but he only shoots two at a time. Um, he does have a melee attack, but it doesn't do nearly as much damage. Drobot's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna say Drobot's good. He's fast. He has a very spammable uh, attack where he like throws these like frisbees around, and uh, he can shoot lasers out of his eyes. That does pretty good damage. Um, Eruptor sucks. Okay, you cannot tell me otherwise. Um, fellow Skylanders enthusiasts, Eruptor sucks. Okay, face it. You will never have. There, there will never be a good Eruptor. Okay, Eruptor is a terrible Skylander. I have every single Eruptor ever made except for the minis, and n none of them are any good. 
except for maybe Lava Lance Eruptor, he's fine. But it, he's fine only because he's not this Eruptor. Um, next, we got Flame Slinger. Flame Slinger is very good. Probably the fastest character in the game. I don't really know. But really good damage. He shoots fast. And yeah, that's really all you need. Now, Ghost Roaster is the only Skylander ever that can go invincible. Um, he has like a little like ectoplasm mode that kind of looks like Slimer from Ghostbusters. Um, pretty good. Um, I would I would definitely say Ghost Roaster is good. Um, his his primary attack, you guessed it, is his little wrecking ball tail. Um, Gilgrunt, Gilgrunt is a starter pack po Pokemon Skylander, so obviously he's gonna be pretty good. Um, they gave you three Skylanders, and honestly, you could play through the entire game using only those three Skylanders. Getting any other Skylander is kind of pointless, because Gilgrunt is so good. Um, Ign oh, didn't mean to drop you there. Igniter. Um, Igniter's definitely very powerful. He's the heaviest hitter in this entire game. Um, yeah, he actually has a ranged attack and two melee attacks. Decent health, decent defense. You know, everything about him is just pretty good. Uh, Lightning Rod is bad. Um, so, he's another slow attacker. He throws one lightning bolt every, like, three seconds or something crazy. And the lightning bolt doesn't even do that much damage. Honestly, like, Drill Sergeant is the better option uh, than Lightning Rod. Um, next, we got Prison Break. Now, I know a lot of people finna come for me if I say this. Prison Break is also bad. Um, so he doesn't have... His, his primary attack doesn't do hardly any damage, okay? It, it, it sucks. People want to say, oh, but Prison Break carried the first three games. Shut up, okay? He got a, a Series 1, which is this one, a Series 2, and a Light Core, okay? And that is it. That is it. And, and, and people want to say, oh, but he's, he's reliable. No, he's not. He has one melee attack, and it takes three seconds to attack. And then after that, you have a crappy ranged attack. Not to mention that his melee attack makes him stationary. And he doesn't even have that much health. So, no. Slam Bam is much better. If you, if you want to have some kind of buff, like a two-legged creature to use... Please use Slam Bam. Slam Bam is a much better option. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom has minions. Um, if your younger sister is forcing you to let her play with you, put her on Sonic Boom and she will help you a ton. She has two buttons to push, and she only has to push un like a button other than the X button or the primary attack button once every like five minutes. Um, she can spawn like little baby minions that attack people. Pretty good. Next, we got Spyro. Now, Spyro is just, you know, another good Skylander. Um, another starter pack Skylander. So, obviously, he's just pretty good. Stealth Elf. Um, I think this is the fastest character in the game next to Flame Slinger. Um, I don't like Stealth Elf. I don't play for speed. I play for buffness. Um, so, I mean, more or less. Uh, actually, I need to be labeling it on, like, actually how good they are. So, no, Stealth Elf is actually just pretty good. Uh, I guess just not mine. Stump Smash is very good. If you want a Brute Force Skylander, and you don't have Slam Bam because he was 30 bucks at Toys R Us because he came in, like, this pack of, like, five pieces, and that was the only way to get him, settle for Stump Smash. He's, he's very powerful and actually has a ranged attack, unlike Slam Bam. Slam Bam sorta of does, doesn't do a lot of damage. But Stump Smash actually has a reliable crowd control ability, which is really, really useful for like, you know, just starting the game. Like the first five levels, you're gonna need crowd control. Uh, next up we got Sunburn. Sunburn sucks. I don't need to say anything else. Terrafin is good. Um, yeah, I mean he punches and can go underground and s spawn minions. Trigger Happy is very good. Trigger Happy doesn't have that much health. I think he has the least amount of health, but he go he go crazy in the attack stat. Okay? He is the fastest attacking Skylander, 
besides like maybe Bouncer, um, which is a giant, um, but Trigger Happy go hard. He he's good. Okay, speed, fine. Defense, kind of uh, health, eh. attack. <whistles> you know, he he just he just there. He go crazy. Um, next we got Voodoo. Um, Voodoo's kind of okay. He can set up trip wires. He hits people with an axe. He's he's not slow. He's got pretty good health though. So he's fine. Don't really understand why he's a magic Skylander because I mean he's as much as a magic Skylander as Lightning Rod. Um, next you got Warnado. Um, Warnado has a, a melee attack that forces him to move forward, which is pretty good sometimes. He's good for like I don't know. You're just trying to get away from enemies, and there's so many in front of you. Yeah, you can just really slide through them. He's he's pretty okay. He has a tornado ability, which you can throw at people. Next, you have Whamshell. Whamshell has a ranged attack that sucks unless you have him fully upgraded. Um, and assuming that all of these Skylanders are not fully upgraded, Whamshell is bad. His melee attack is slow. His uh uh, not his um. Not his secondary, but his like third attack, where he like strikes his mace into the ground. That's the only good ability, and he can only do that sometimes. Uh, well, really, just not often. So I'm a, I'm gonna put him in bad. Actually, I'll put him more or less. Next, you got whirlwind. I just don't like whirlwind, but I can't be biased. Okay, I'll put you in more or less. You're fast. Um. You can spawn like a cloud and like shoot a little like bomb into it and then it spreads out into two. You know, pretty cool. Wrecking Ball, D tier. I don't need to say anything else. Zap. Um, Zap is not bad. Zap is pretty good. Zook, bad. Hex is more or less okay. So Zap is good because speed and attack and health. That's that's really it. Speed, attack, and health. Hex um is pretty um, pretty well rounded. I mean, whatever. Um, I was too scared to play her as a kid because she would like say magic words for her attacks and kind of spooked me. Then uh, Zook is a rocket launcher thing. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Doesn't attack very fast. Um, that's about it. Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball sucks because Wrecking Ball's primary attack is sticking his tongue out and hitting things. And not doing hardly any damage, okay? Just just nothing, okay? And he can he can roll around and he He burps. <sighs> that's his third attack. He burps. He just he goes uh, 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 uh. Yep, that's it. Nope. Yeah. Great. Great character. Great. Good job. Um